Oh, hello there. I'm Mike and I'm the Sports History Collector and today is story time. Today we'll be having the classic collector story, The Little Lost Card. I hope you'll enjoy it. Once upon a time there was a little card who was looking for his forever home. This was approximately 1990 and he was up for auction. A young collector decided he wanted that card very badly. So he outbid everybody else, all the bad collectors out there, and he got the card. He enjoyed that card for four years until he purchased his first home. Since there was no place to have a memorabilia room at that point, he had a lot of his stuff in one extra room they had upstairs and it was used as more of a storage for the, for the time being. Three years later, they decided to start clearing out the storage area and use it as a nice room where they could furnish and, and get all the boxes out and all that good stuff. What they found was the evil builders of the house had left a couple of nail holes in the outside wall that let water from rain seep in. So besides having a drenched carpet and decaying drywall, um, there was potentially stuff in the room that uh, could have got wet. So to fix things, our hero had a moving company come and take out all the heavy furniture that was in there that was just being stored and, uh, and the boxes. Unfortunately, there was memorabilia and uh, cards in the boxes. So our hero wanted to put them in the garage separate so that sticky fingers would not take anything that didn't belong to them. After the boxes were all sealed and, and put in the garage, our hero found that this 1915 Cracker Jack card was left out, along with a couple other items. Not knowing what to do, he decided he would take it down to the garage and put it in one of the boxes and, uh, ha and be that and be done. Well, all, all, all's well that ends well because the work in the room was completed and the furniture was brought back in and our hero brought the boxes back in. One by one, the boxes were opened, a new room was established for memorabilia, but the little card could not be found. Our hero searched and searched and searched and searched, but there was no card. He knew deep in his heart that these evil movers had taken the card. How they found it, he didn't know, but it was gone. Oh well, by the time he had realized this, it was way too late to blame the movers. So he just figured it was gone. 20 years later, which would be 2016, our hero was cleaning out a closet so that he'd have room to store additional memorabilia. And he came across two old cases that he used to use, uh, briefcases that he used to use for work. These were pretty old. They just had old uh, work papers in it, no longer necessary. So he thought, well, maybe I can use these for the future and I'll just clean out the briefcases. Lo and behold, there was not papers in there, but some memorabilia, including our little lost card. Our, our hero apparently was a dumbass and forgot where he had put it. <laughs> Thankfully, he did not blame the movers. I'm not laughing. I'm crying. This is such a sad Valentine's Day story. Anyway... The card has been with the um, our hero ever since. <laughs> and it is a beautiful example of a 1915 Eddie Seacott. And the plans are to be, is that it will be used to go along with other 1919 Black Sox cards, as well as autographs from that team. And of course, they all lived happily ever after. The end. Well, that was some story, wasn't it? Boy, that little lost card. Well, in true Valentine's Day tradition, the two loves got back together again. But I'm sure if that little card gets lost again, the collector will track it down, find it, and put its ass on eBay. But I digress. 
Everybody have a very happy Valentine's Day and talk to you soon.